Welcome to Project Wrong Way. I'm Ben. It's my wife, Rachel. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you did. I was just motioning towards you, and they're so cumbersome. No. First of all, please like, share, and subscribe. Your energy is pretty dead. What are we doing? I'm glad you asked, Rachel. You might notice behind me that the brake booster is no longer the brake booster master. The brake master cylinder is no longer on the brake booster. I don't, I don't booster. understand. Am I supposed to look at that or am I supposed to look at you when you're talking? Look at the camera. I feel like that's really awkward. No, just pretend it's a person we're speaking with. What's up? <laughs> Asia. What? So today we're going to bench bleed. I gotta say that without stuttering. Bench bleed. Today we're gonna bench bleed the master cylinder. We're gonna put the master cylinder on and we're gonna install the rest of the brake lines on the front end. And I'm gonna show you how to use the, uh, the, ma the uh, brake flaring tool that I bought from Eastwood Tools. Not a sponsor. But who is a sponsor? George. Valley Hybrids. George Ester <laughs> from Valley Hybrids. Give him a call if you need Land Cruiser stuff or advice or if you just wanna talk. I've called George lots of times where I just needed to talk. Let's bench bleed. I got a lot of feedback when I installed this, or when Rachel did, that, uh, did you bench bleed it? And I said, no. Do I need to? What? And apparently you do. Bench bleeding is a process where you kind of prime the master cylinder pump b before you install it. As they start out by just pouring brake fluid into the brake master cylinder. As you can see, Seriously. <laughs> Between the cow? There's been a, there's a cow dying across the street. <laughs> in between, dying. in between that and. It's a baby cow that I think they just separated from its mother. And okay, so. Shut up. So is it supposed to be dripping? Because nothing is dripping. Yeah, it's supposed to drip out. So it's not dripping out. I bet if you put your mouth over that hole in blue. <laughs> <laughs> it would come out. You watching ladies? <laughs> She's got more tips on how to get your husband. I'm just gonna insert, insert this right into the end here. Uh -huh. Just kind of push it. Push it some more. Push it some more. <laughs> this is awful. Nothing's happening. I know. I don't think you hit the spot. Nothing's happening. <laughs> so I took out the, the two things. Should I put those back in there and push on it and see what happens? The guy, this YouTube video I watched. Oh, did that hit you? Are you okay? <sighs> Brake fluid's extremely corrosive. Corrosive. You don't want to get it on you. That's good. Now, should I use carburetor cleaner to clean it off? <laughs> I don't think. I don't know, honey. I don't either. Um, maybe just go inside and wash it. Soap. That's okay, honey. This is as you're good as get, soap. You're gonna get a chemical burn. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cancer. Fluid came out though. You saw it, right? Yeah. I, Shot well, across I the room. I did. I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Did you get the cap? It's right here. Where is it? Oh, okay, let me get that. I don't know. I'm getting some resistance. Okay, a little bit's dripping, but. What's, where? Where's it dripping from? from? The, the front from the top? hole. The front hole. I think I did it, honey. Did you? Because it doesn't seem like a really smooth process. I don't know. I don't know. And the, I mean, did he have like a bunch of liquid come out or is it just like a drip? Well, what he did was at first, he just did it and then pumped on it until brake fluid came out. Is it supposed to come out that hole though? Where it, yeah, both these holes. Where it flipped out? It's supposed to ooze out. Just kind of ever so slightly. The top hole or the bottom hole? Both holes. Both holes. There's like seven holes on there. There are these really... two. No, well I thought I saw stuff come out of this one. Oh no, it's coming out of the top. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Don't make it sexual. Is that what it's supposed to do? Okay, well he had like a specialized... He didn't just put some random stick through the hole? He had like a special... No, 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 not that, not that. Careful. <laughs> It'll run all over. Okay, I don't have anything to screw in there. Okay, now I'm getting resistance. Lots of resistance. Are you supposed to get resistance? Yeah. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's how you break it. You did it? Yeah, I did it. You pushed on it? I did it! Alright. That's how you bench bleed. That's not how you bench bleed. That's how I bench bleed. 
And now I will simply. So how much do you want to bet someone is going to be like, that is not how you do it. Do you want to, like how much do you want to bet? No. I would bet $10,000. Somebody else asked if I checked the distance between the plunger, something. I don't know. There's some kind of, see the resistance? <laughs> oh, I bench split it. I'm starting to see a lot of brake fluid oozing out right now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's supposed to, but the brake pedal is pushing on. Oh, jeez, little effing. Hold on, gotta get it right. It's dripping from this, this back here. No, it's gonna be dripping from both of them. Okay, it's not dripping from that one. Everyone. No, it's dripping from the back one. Okay, I got it. Okay. Is that leaking out of something else? Did you put too much pressure on it? No, I don't know if that's even possible. So I made this uh, line specifically for this spot. Okay, so I gotta keep that kind of loose. Making this line was extremely difficult. Once I bolt it in place, I'll, I'll ratchet it down. So what is that you're installing? This is the, um, it's the, <laughs> Break. It's the va. Uh, dude, I know the name of it because I've said it a hundred times. It's a, it's like a pressure valve for the relief valve. Holy crap! I cannot think of the name of this thing for some reason. I, I said it on this show about a hundred times. What the hell is it called? Proportioning valve. I noticed you're wearing all dark colors. Yep, it's to hide my weight. <laughs> Okay, so now I just need to tighten these guys down real quick. Oh, that's not okay. Well, no. Just started to twist the line a little bit. And I don't know how tight you're supposed to make these. I just know that I don't want my brakes to leak. To leak. So I'm going to tighten them. Probably too much. Bit. Oh boy. Maybe just leave it for now. Yeah, it's still okay. Do you think I can make that tighter? You think? No, don't leave it. Well, it's got to be tight. Honey, don't go too far. You'll ruin it. You can always tighten it up a little bit later once people comment <laughs> and say like, "Hey, it should be this tight." Or okay, so that's just leave it. That's on there. Okay. Yeah. I made all these lines myself with the brake flaring tool from Eastwood, which I will show an example of in a moment. It really feels like putting together a meth lab with all the things. The squiggly lines. Wires. Like a mad scientist. Did you check on the girls when you went inside? Nope. Were they quiet? Yep. Plus I had one mission when I went inside, honey. And that was to go number two. See that fit? That goes right down that piece. These two cables, I have the one for the back and then this one for the front. I bought these from BTB products. They sell really good uh, brake lines. I see your hand. There. <laughs> okay. I see it. I gotta tighten that up really good. Dark. These are extended braided brake lines I got from them. So that works with the lift that I've got. They're longer. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, ah, what? Nothing, it just felt like it stripped out on me. It's not a 15. Oh wow, that's totally not a 15. It's not a 15! Oh, that's loosening. <laughs> now that that's tight, I'll connect this. Now these didn't fit perfectly into the, uh, the brake pieces. This piece right here. The bracket thingy? Yeah, the bracket thingy. It didn't fit right off the bat. So I I customized it. So you customized it so it would fit? <laughs> yeah. Does it fit? <laughs> well, what the hell? Like, this guy. Oh, it's the lower one. It's the lower yeah. one. No, it's just a lower one. <laughs> <clears throat> there, now will hold that in place. You tighten the crap out of that one yet? No, but just you can show the show the continuation there. 
So that's that's that, right? What the hell size is that one? I'm gonna be the same size as what you used up top of the curly thing. I just need it needs to be for F in the butt. This is so difficult. It's because we didn't do it on the day I wanted to do it. It's karma. It's karma. There. That'll hold it in place. This, this is not the way you're supposed to do it, I don't think. Probably supposed to use a Yes, <laughs> that stopped you. Yeah. <sighs> That's about got it. Oh, shit. I remember when I took my brakes apart. And I was like, that wasn't so bad. This would be really easy to put back together. But it really was so bad. I'm gonna work on that a little bit later. What's important? Just getting that line attached. Oh, it's so hot, damn. It's so damn hot, honey. Should I just screw that to the firewall and ignore? Why don't you just leave it where it is? It looks just fine. I mean, just run it like that. So it's not in that hooked on the whole thing. I'll wait for the internet. Just leave it. That's what I'm saying, do I need to use this piece? Or can I just like run like one little tab right there to hold it in place? Okay. Why not just use what's there rather than like make it more complicated though? Because I'm not sure if what's there is what's good. Is that where the brake line needs to go? Yeah. Well, then I'm sure it was just fine. Okay. I can't argue with that logic. These two, I also bent using the Eastwood brake flaring tool, which I'll show you towards the end. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I'm really bored. I'm sorry. It's. I know it's boring. How did you feel about the last video, Rachel? <laughs> Serious. Yeah. Well, I realize I've got a weird shaped head. I don't. And my hair is way too long to be flattering, but California is the still not letting us get our hair cut, so I'm kind of stuck with that one. And yeah, there's one other thing I realized I can't remember what it was. Oh, I make a lot of weird faces. Like I, I can't stop moving my mouth when I'm in front of the camera. Screwed on my face. Well, shit. How does that go in there? Looks like it's in there. Yeah, I know, but. Did you attach the wrong end? No, I didn't. Is it just not screwing all the way in? It doesn't. Are these lines gonna work, people? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tighten that much more. And it's like, it's into the caliper. This is. This is not going well. It's okay. Okay, so did that one go in correctly? Yeah, that one went in okay. It's okay. this part that I'm not sure about. Was there something you were supposed to... Do you prime calipers too? No. I don't know. Dude, I just... I don't have it. the damnedest idea. I bent these little lines up all by myself. Anybody who thinks they're not capable of doing something like that. It's one of those, if I can, so can you, scenarios. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hook up all these freaking brake lines. There's no way in hell that this isn't gonna leak somewhere. It has to, you know? Yeah, do they always leak? Well, no, like if you do it perfectly, it shouldn't leak. But look at me, honey. Oh, is there a way to test it before you're out driving? <laughs> well, yeah, well, we're going to do the brakes here in the shop first, obviously, but I'm just saying. I'm sure it's not as bad as it means. Okay. All right, so that's, that's that side. Okay, I'm going to go do the line on the other side. Let me see if this one goes in just as far. Or if it goes all the way in. If it doesn't, yeah, then I'm then I'm totally at a loss to how this works. I, I, I'm already 
at a loss to how this works. If the thing, yeah, see? Is it just as the gap still there? Uh, yeah. So I have a gap right here. I don't know. I don't know. What the hell? Well, theoretically, though, if there's a gap right there, wouldn't that just mean that the only part of this whole system you want to change is this ending? Like, all the stuff you bent is still fine, right? Yeah. Starting to worry about these lines a little bit. But. Oh, this little guy is all freaking spun up now. Shit. I'll tell you what, dude. I'm so not. The simple things that end up hard. So what do I do, you know? Because I have to freaking screw this in. Well, the other side didn't get all tangled, so. I know. I'm gonna try to undo this line and do the other hard line. And then. Gosh. These lines are not that great. I did not get these ones from uh, BTV. <laughs> I got these from somewhere else. Why did you say you got them? No, I got the drop lines, the extended brake lines from BTV. These I got from a different person. Man, dude, I don't know why that stupid line was twisting like that. I don't know what the hell to do because they wouldn't fit in my original brackets, those lines that I have. So I had to ream out the bracket to make them fit. But in the process, I don't know if it made it so that line can just spin freely and it's not supposed to do that. All right, so I'm gonna tighten this all the way up. So what I need to do is make sure that guy doesn't move at all while I'm trying to screw in this guy. I don't know how well this is all gonna work. <laughs> but that's... That's the front brake line. That's the brake line on the front. The last piece to the brake line puzzle is the front or this is the line that goes from the master to the rear brake lines. So it's going to dip down there. My clutch line gets in the way. But and then I'm going to run it. It needs to come up and connect. So I just need to cut it probably right there. Why did you do curly cues, like if it's required? Supposedly, it needs to have like a little flex, a little give. So I'm using an old fashioned cutting tool my grandfather-in-law gave me, Jerry Wright. Just a life sponsor. Okay, so once you cut it, oh Use yeah. your elbow. You're gonna wanna get the reaming tool in there. First off, put the piece on ahead of time. And I, did you buy this? Yeah, I bought it. Oh, it was it was about a hundred and eighty bucks. Oh my goodness! I know. How many brakes are you gonna flare? Why can't you I'm gonna just I'm it? honestly I'm gonna flare a ton of brakes because I'm gonna do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> We're using three sixteenth brake lines, three sixteenths, and you want the combed, not the flush edge. Leave a little extended. Okay, take some of the slack out of the. The block, not too much, zero it in place. Once I get it zeroed, <clears throat> lock it down. Operation one, I even hit it with a red marker so I'd remember it. <clears throat> operation one, done. Then operation two. Okay, a couple times to be sure. There we go. So there's the flare. 
skip to the side. This is a particularly difficult process because I couldn't bend it all up prematurely the way I wanted to because that line was in the way. So I had to kind of eyeball it. Can you hand me the 10 millimeter wrench? Where is it? On the one of the fenders. Uh, there's no way you're ever gonna find it. Uh, stop, just give me a second. There's just no way. There's a bunch of wrenches. I know. Oh. Ten, ten. Where does it say 10? Does that, look, does that look like it's threading in? Gee. Kind of. So bad. I fit, hold on, I fit up in there. Do you want me to sit in there and try, honey? Hold on. Done. Okay. Oh. Why don't you let me try? Honey, if my strong man hands can't no, do it. No, I'm saying maybe it's an angle issue because you can't sit up and actually see the angle. You're doing it by touch. I can see it. It knows. It knows. It's the last. It's the last one, you know. So it's got to fight me. It's got. You bastard. Just let me try. Come on. What? I didn't even get this on. Am I using the wrong end? It's in, honey. Well, how much is it in? It's going in without a problem. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why don't you so get the camera? I am you... recording. Oh, you are? I told you that it was an angle problem. Okay. No big because... deal. <laughs> I fit inside of the engine. This is why they used children in mines and stuff. It's so tiny. Okay. That's horrible. Get out of there. I no. need to redeem myself. I'm going to finish this one. I mean, I, I still have a couple threads showing. It's not feeling tight. Oh, no. Okay, that's good right there. Okay. Get out of there, you wonder woman. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I, was I didn't, didn't record all the cussing. There was a lot of it. The <laughs> neighbors are probably wondering what the heck your problem is. Yeah, I started to lose composure. Now I'm ordering new pieces for this. Why are you bothering to snug it up if you're ordering new pieces? Because I, uh, I want to feel like to, you did something. No, I want to get the lines in the right place beforehand. So I'm going to bend this as I install it. So I'll show you what I mean here. I ordered these lines on Amazon. Some newer, more. Uh, like brackets, you mean? Yeah. These brackets here. There were some from Harbor Freight, but I did not, I just didn't like them. Is that what we went and got today? Yeah. That you did not? Yeah, I'm going to return them. So you can return them? I don't think there's anything at Harbor Freight that you can't. Are they like Costco or they take everything back? No, but it's Harbor Freight. I mean, they better not be sticklers, you know. We got no room. One thing I was hoping for as I was getting to do these was that it just looked it looked somewhat factory. Is it going in okay? Yeah, it's going in okay. Well, it does look like a meth lab, but given the fact that we live in Butte County, I don't know. All right, I'm sorry, first off, that this wasn't the laugh factory that I usually am. Uh, maybe it was because I was just a man on a mission and I was trying to get a bunch of stuff done and run into my usual pitfalls and struggles. A couple things to remember this round. Are those lines gonna work on the front calipers? The ones where I threaded it in and it didn't go that far. There's a gap, it didn't seal up tight. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Before I actually bleed the brakes entirely, that'll be probably a whole episode. But before I do that, I'm going to go through and tighten up every fitting in the brake system, make sure it's good. Hopefully it doesn't leak. If it does leak, we have the technology. In the meantime, special thanks again to Valley Hybrids. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I tried to get Rachel not to wear a bra in this episode. She yeah. said no. Once the brakes are done, the drive shafts go in, then the Land Cruiser's on its wheels, and it's all motor. Exhaust, coolant, whatever, but it's all motor. Chris, like, are we done yet? Yeah. I want to go inside. 
I do too. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, share, you know, just try. It makes my day. Got a goal. One million subscribers no. for the end of the year. <laughs>